Boy Meets World actors detail alleged grooming and manipulation by guest star Brian Peck. But there's there's an actual victim here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and the he turned us against the victim. Boy Meets World actors Ryder Strong and Will Friedel lifted the lid on guest star Brian Peck's alleged grooming and manipulation that they claim they experienced during and after his time on the iconic sitcom. The men along with former castmate Danielle Fischel discussed the difficult subjects of grooming, childhood sexual abuse, and their effects on victims with family therapist Caddy Morton on Pod Meets World. Four years after Boy Meets World ended, Brian Peck was convicted of sexually abusing an unknown Nickelodeon child actor in 2004. Subsequently, he served 16 months behind bars after being charged with eight counts of sexual abuse. World, I didn't go to parties. I didn't didn't really do that stuff. But I was working a lot after Boy Meets World, and this guy had so ingratiated himself into my life. I took him to three shows after Boy Meets World. This was the type of thing where the person he presented was this great, funny guy who was really good at his job. Um, and you wanted to hang out with. Again, I didn't hang out with him a lot socially, but I saw him every day, hung out with him every day, talked to him every day. Strong said he and Peck eventually hung out all the time, despite a 20-year age gap. Fischl remembered Peck wanting to spend as much time as he could with the main cast, which she said was different than most Boy Meets World guest stars. But the other adults on set who maybe could have or should have said, why are you guys going to lunch with this guy? Why are why is this guy going to Ryder's house for a party? There was probably a part of them that didn't say it because they were afraid it was going to be taken as homophobia. Mm. Right. Instead of, uh, this is a boundary, gay or not, this is yeah. a boundary about adults and kids. Fischl clarified that none of the young cast members cared about Peck's sexuality, while acknowledging elsewhere that he seemed to take a keener interest in male stars. I also think that's important in the story of Ryder and Will about why he befriended the two of you so, so closely. And I did have lunch with him a couple of times, but only because someone else would invite me. He didn't really make an effort to get to know me. We, right. we, he didn't ingratiate himself as much into my life. I never heard from him again after the show ended. And Strong said he ran into Peck about seven years ago at an industry party, an encounter that left him rattled. No, like the story that he was telling was nonsense, but what he was letting me know was that he was with famous people who mm -hmm. rational, influence. who validate him mm -hmm. and, 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 and put him in a category of Hollywood royalty or like around all the, and like he did that constantly when we were on the set of Boy Meets World and I never saw it because it was so effortless and so, and here I was like at this party and like I had to leave. I was so freaked the fuck out. I Friedel had hasn't seen Peck in about two decades, but is still processing the regret he has over defending the sex offender against his victim. But there's, there's an actual victim here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and the, he turned us against the victim to where now we're on his team. Mm -hmm. And how is that? And that's the thing where, to me, I look back at that as my ever loving shame for this entire. I mean, getting taken in by somebody who's a good actor and a manipulator, um, you know, hey, I could chalk that up to being young and that's the way it is. You know, it's awful. And I'm going to use that as my growth, you know, for my growth as a human being. Great. But when there's an actual victim involved and now I'm on the abuser's side. That's the thing I can't, I can't get over. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.